Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. We always give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing this true gospel throughout the four corners of the earth risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. Also Shalom to the one third, the hopeful elect of men, women and children. All the praises and the glory is forever given to Yahweh and his beloved son Yahweh Shai. All the praises is given to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Aman, so be true. Now, my name is Brother Ahab, and I pray that I come in peace through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Aman, so be true. <clears throat> Let me start with this. Our beloved elder, he did a lesson on the prayer of faith. Elder Madagan. His channel is GMS Spiritual Army of 144. Because he's he has that gift to translate the, the prayers from English to, to Hebrew. And he did a prayer, quick prayer for faith. Keep strong my faith unto the end. Keep faith, keep strong my faith unto the end and in the Hebrew it's Shamar Kazak Amawanya La Ka Taza Shamar keep Kazak strong Amawanya my faith La Ka Taza unto the end that's a beautiful prayer it's all about the faith it's all about the faith, beloved brothers, sisters, and children. Now, what I want to use as an example of faith is in the, the book of Daniel, chapter 3. Three friends are delivered from the fiery furnace. Now, I'm just going to add to this now. There's a beloved brother. And I pray, you know, through the Spirit that he sees this lesson. Because over the years, he always brings up this topic about the three friends are delivered from the fiery furnish. And who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? We're talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. My beloved brother, he always, over the years, he keeps on using this chapter as an example of faith. Trusting in Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekha Kodash. This is what it is all about. Trusting, trusting. No matter how fiery, no matter how deep beyond our imagination it gets, we have to trust and believe in Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Yeah? So I haven't really thought about a, a title. 
but Lord willing I put it up but it's all about Shadwak Meshach and Abandigo because they displayed strength of faith faith it is impossible to please Yahweh Basham Yahushai if you have no faith, it is impossible to please him. And as we go along our day-to-day -day walk, serving Yahweh Basham Yahshai, our faith increases by the day, by the second, by the hour, by the year. Our cre our faith increases. And reading this event, which is a true event, this would build up our faith. So I'm going to summarize it. Three friends, oh, Daniel chapter 3, verse 1. Three friends are delivered from the fiery furnace. Okay? Now, to summarize it, Nebuchadnezzar, he was a king of Babylon, had set up a golden image, an idol. And you know, our Heavenly Father is a jealous power. You must not serve any other power except Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Only. He has set up a golden image. And certain Jews, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the real Jews, the other, these men were the real Jews, regarded not this commandment coming from Nebuchadnezzar. And because of this, the king had commanded to go for them to go into the fiery furnace. And you know what? It was heated up seven times more. So this is a short summary. We could start from Daniel chapter 3. And you could read all that verse. But I'm, going to, I'm summarizing it because of time. Now I'm going to jump to verse 22. Right? Let's go to 22. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You can read their account for yourself. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bound into the midst of the burning fir fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished. This is the power of Yahweh Basham Yahshai. You see, if you have the faith, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, remember the mustard seed is so tiny, but when that seed grows, that grows into the most the tree, the size of that tree. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up and in haste and spake and said unto the council counselors. Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? That's a question. Then answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men. It's, it's three that went in. Who is the three? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking into the midst of the fire and they have no hurt and the form of the fourth is like the son of the Lord our power then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego ye servants of the Most High the, the servants of Yahweh Basham Yahushai 
came forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Just, just visualize this. And Apostle Gabar keeps saying, when you read these scriptures, you have to visualize it. And the princes, governors, and the captains, and the kings, counselors, being gathered together, saw these men upon those bodies. The fire had no power. <laughs> nor was the hair of their head singed neither was their coats changed nor the smell of fire had passed on them so listen before we read further barakathi yahawah baasham yahawah shai barakathi yahawah baasham yahawah shai barakathi yahawah baasham yahawah shai baasham rakakwidash they were not touched and the men that led them to the fiery furnace, they're the ones that got singed. So listen, we're going to verse 28. Nebuchadnezzar acknowledges the Lord our power and promotes the three men. Here we go again. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal Yahawa Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rakakwadash. All the praises is given to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Rakakwadash. Verse 28 Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the power of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any other power any other god except their own power glory be to Yahweh basham yashai right therefore i make a decree that every people nation and and language which spake anything amiss against the Lord our power of of who against the Lord our power Yahweh Basham Yahshai Basham Rekakodash, listen, shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a uh, dunghill. In other words, shit. Because there is no other power that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadwak, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Is this something to hold on to? Isn't this something to cleave on to? And it starts from our apostles of great men's stone. We have to cleave onto those men because I tell you what, if it wasn't for those men, we would know this. If it wasn't for the, the our spiritual family, our parents, spiritual parents of Great Men Stone, starting from Elder Pastor Har, we will not have known these things. If it wasn't for the brotherhood, the brothers that we labor with week in and week out, all right? Because I learn from my brothers week in and week out. I learn from them. If it wasn't for the start from from even from before our teachers, Elder Pastor Har, right? From their teachers, come down to our teachers, our present teachers now. Come down to the brotherhood. It's, remember, it's one body. It's one body in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Because there is no other power that can deliver after this sort, then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Now there's a beloved brother. He knows what I'm talking about because he keeps on doing, over the years, he keeps on doing lessons on this. He keeps on, and he knows. He knows that I know, that I know, that he knows. Right? Because he always brings this stuff. This is about the faith. That's why I brought up the, 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 the prayer. Right? From the elder Amanagan quick prayer for faith 
it's all about faith. Listen, listen, listen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had faith. Three of them went into the fiery furnace and there was a fourth, a fourth presence there with them. That was Yahweh Shai. Barakath Yahweh Basham Yahweh We have to have that faith. Whatever we're going through, brothers and sisters and children, whatever feeling you're going through. You remember the scriptures saying, you know, through much tribulation. Do you know what I mean by much? It didn't say you know, in the scriptures, through tribulation. It said through much the amount of pain and the, the pain that you're going to go through. And going back to Apostle Tahar, you have to learn. I'm not saying exactly word for word. He says you have to learn to suffer. Learn to appreciate, to suffer the pain and go with it. I'm not talking word for word. You know what I'm saying. Learn to deal with it. And our beloved elder, Apostle Gabar, he keeps on saying this again. He keeps on saying this again. You have to make sure what you're involved in. You have to make sure what you are involved in. I say this a third time. You have to make sure what you are involved in. This walk. Because you remember the Lord says, you know, are you willing to drink that cup? The cup. That cup is a heavy, heavy cup to drink. You can't just walk into the shop and say, okay, give me a cup of this and cup of that and let me sip it. No. Are you prepared to drink that cup? Now, I'm using this as an example about the Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego because they went through that fiery trial. They were tested through the fire. They were tested. That was their dark, that was their hour of temptation. And they did not, because the, 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 the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, he set up idols and everybody must bow when they blow the trumpet. Oh, you must bow down. But because Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego did not bow down. The king says, what? It's the same thing, there's nothing new under the sun. It's the same thing that's coming back again. The hour of temptation. So we, this is what it's leading to now. Revelation 3 verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Who, what, what? Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They kept that. that they, because they kept the word of the Lord's patience. I would also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon all the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth. They did not bow. And because they didn't bow. They believe they had faith he said okay yeah okay lord i'm not going to bow to them i'm not going to bow to idolatry i'm not going to bow to the b system but then lord what are you going to do for me you said it if i do not bow you're going to come through for me this is where the faith comes in shamar kazak amawanya lakataza keep strong my faith unto the end and this is what they did. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, Abednego. They stood stiffly to the end of the word of the Lord and his name. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rekha Kodash. Revelation 14 verse 9 to 11. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, his image did Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, did they worship the image, the beast? Did they do that? No, they didn't. What they did, they put their trust in the Lord and received his mark in his, in his forehead or in his hand. Right? And this is a physical mark. This is a physical mark. And the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Lord Yahweh Shemeshai, which poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. 
and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. This is what it is, right? Was, was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? What did they do? They did not bow to the image. So they were in torment. Nothing was singed. They closed their hairs on their head. Nothing was singed. Because they did not bow down to the image of Baal. They did not bow down to the image of the beast system. Right? Start again. Because this is a very serious thing. This is why Elder Apostle Gabal always say, you, we, me and me too, we have to understand what we are involved in. We have to understand because the hour of temptation is coming. We keep on saying this now. Yes, we could go to the supermarket. You could buy, right, some, some fruits. Okay. You could buy, you could go to the supermarket and buy and buy um some vegetables. Although they're not perfect and they, 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 they've got all the chemicals, you could still, you're at liberty to do it. But there's going to be a time where you cannot buy these things, buy or sell. Because the B system, the hour of temptation, okay? Because this is the year 2024, the year of Jacob's trouble. Now, Revelations 14 verse 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, we don't want to be worshiping our beast. We're worshiping Yahweh Baasham, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Baasham, Yahweh Shai. And I pray that I stick, I stay firmly upon those names. Because we have to have the faith. Because the Lord said, you know, there is nothing that's going to pluck him out of his hand. If you believe and trust in Yahweh, nothing is going to take you away from him. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, his image, and receive his mark, receive his mark. But you, listen, 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 listen. No. Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, they did not bow down. They did not bow down. So who came up for them? The Lord, the Yahweh Shai came up for them. Because in English we say jiffy. In a jiffy is an old saying. Oh, that man's going to come up for you in a jiffy. Quick! Because the, the Lord is right there waiting. He's waiting, you know. The Lord is he's watching and testing you. He's waiting waiting for that last second to see if you're going to bow. And if you do not bow, the Lord knows when to go zoom. He knows when to go in. And that's what he did. He went into the furnace, into the fiery trial. Just in time, on the brink. On the brink. That's how the Lord, how power works. He works on the brink of things. He tests you to the last milli, 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 millisecond. That's how Yahweh Shem Yahshai works. And I pray that we all keep on, because you see, listen, you know, you know, it's, it, until death. This is the key word, until death. You go right through, and that's why when um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they decided, they, just, they was in the mindset to say, yes, we're going to die. Oh, I need to bring this up in the spirit. Oh, I need to bring this. I forgot to bring this out through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. I'm going to read this part now. Oh, that's a brock of the Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Because they, what they said, you know, the faith. Listen to the faith now. Listen to the faith. Shamar, Kazak, Amawanya, La Kataza. Listen to this now. Whoa, brock of the Yahweh. I forgot to bring this out, right? Listen, uh, Daniel 3, verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. We're not careful. We don't give a fucking shit what you're saying because they made up their mind already. Listen now. If it be so, our power 
whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. Shamar, Kazak, Amawanya, La, Kataza. Keep strong, my faith, until the end. Listen to this point now. Listen. This is two ways. Because they're saying the Lord's going to deliver them. And if the Lord doesn't deliver them, hear this part now, in 18. But if not, are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? If not. So in other words, I'm going to read it again. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our power whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us of thine hand, O king. But listen now, they said that. But it's a but in verse 18. But if not, so in other words, they decide in their mind that they have faith that the Lord's going to deliver them. But if the Lord doesn't deliver them, listen now, but if not, be it known unto the king that we will not serve thy power, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. So they had faith regardless unto death. So if the Lord didn't deliver them out of it, they still had the mindset that they're going straight through. They're going for they're going for it, regardless of what. Love not your life unto death. This is what it's all about. Yeah. Love not your life unto death. Brakathi how about Sham Yo Shai for, for bringing it. I thought I told I made a note of it, but I told you this is what it is. This is the flesh that we're dealing with, right? The flesh is weak but the spirit is willing the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak and we make a lot of fuck ups all the time we fuck up all the time because this fucking flesh that we're living in and we thank Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai to deliver us from this flesh that we're living in yeah we thank Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai right the wada for bringing it out dear lord the wada for bringing that out. Yeah. So regardless of what. Love not your life unto death. And the Lord says you know. I will give you a. How does it go again? Rock of the I'm excited now. He says that. Uh, love not your life unto death. And I'll give you a crown of life. So therefore you go all the way. Prepare your mind to fuck to die. And I pray that when that time comes, I'm in that mindset. I pray that all our brothers and sisters from the top apostles come right down, that we're in that mindset, that we say, yes, die. You make up your mind, full stop. Because the Lord's going to give you a crown. It's the, Lord, it's the Lord says, you know, if you die for me, I will, listen, man, the Lord will come through. The Lord will come through. I pray that we have that mindset. Because we're in this, we're still, we still relax now. Wait until that mindset comes. Are we willing to die? I'm talking for myself too. Lord Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai Basham Rakakodash. I am talking about myself first and foremost. Yeah, I could talk the talk, walk the walk, and this and that. Yeah. When that time comes, are you willing to die? They prepared their mind. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they prepared their mind, regardless of what. Uh, stage one, stage two, and that's it. They prepared their mind for stage two. They knew the Lord's going to come through to them. And they're still, but death, the Lord's still going to come through to them. Because if you die for the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yashai, that's it. You can't lose. The victory, the victory is given to you. Brakathi Yahweh Basham Yashai, the victory is given to you. Listen now. Revelation 14, verse 9. I'm going to close now. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and the image, his image, and receive his mark in his head, uh, uh, in his forehead, 
all in his hand, Lord willing, and listen, everything is preordained. The same shall drink the wine of the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh Shammah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his ignorance. And he shall be tormented with the fire of brimstone. Oh, we don't want that. We do not want that, beloved brothers and sisters. I tell you, we do not want that. We do not want that. Back to Elder Apostle Gabar, he says, we have to understand what we're involved in. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of our living power. Although I'm doing this video here, are you fearing Heavenly Father? Yeah? You could bring out all the precepts under the sun. You could go to camp every single week. You could do all the lessons every day. Fear Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. We don't want that, Lord. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai Basham Kudash. We don't want that. We do not want that. Right? We fear our Heavenly Father. We fear Yahweh Basham Yahshai. And in the presence of the Lamb, who is the Lamb? That unblemished lamb, he was perfect, Yahweh Shai Mashak. And the smoke of the torment to ascend it up for ever and ever. And they that and they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever shall receive the mark of his name. This is what it is, it's the same thing with with um Shadrach, um Meshach and Abednego. They did not bow down to that system. They did not bow down, right? Because you know why? They knew what they were involved in. They knew what they were involved in. They understood, all right? And if I know we, in, in, this is why we have to get out of this flesh. This is why we have to get out of this flesh because this flesh is wicked. And, and, and I was just watching just watching Elder Pastor Gabar. I'm going to go back to it now. Lord willing, he was doing a lesson about we must be high-minded because we have not endured to the end yet. We have not endured to the end. The only time you're going to feel safe is when you're in the chariot. When you're in the chariot, then he goes, yes, at least I've got there, I've got there. The water, Yahweh, Shem, Yahshai. We have to do the work. We have to, and listen to me, listen. It's about the grace. If your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that is it, right? If your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, that's all it is to say. That's all it is. Okay? This is why everything is written for our learning a full time. This, this event here was for our learning. They had faith. Right, going back again, Shamar, Kazak, Amawanya, La Kataza. Keep strong, my faith, unto the end. It's about the end. It's about the end. Not halfway or quarter way, right? It's, it's about to the end. To finish the course. Finish the course. Wow. We don't want that, Lord willing. We don't want that. I don't know my end, but I pray, that Lord has mercy upon us. Mercy. Yeah? Mercy. is about the mercy. His loving, tender, kind. Listen, and we, we know that the Lord has a loving, tender side tender side to him but he has a very dangerous wicked cold side to him right that's Yahweh Shom Yahshai right so this this is just a message to say you know that there is nothing new under the sun nothing new under the sun everything is written for our learning Everything was written for our learning. And my beloved brother, he keeps on bringing up, over the years, he keeps on bringing up this same thing. 
um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And there's a time where every time he does it, I start to laugh and smile. I was laughing because I know where he's going. This is just an example for us to know. Keep strong in the Lord. Lord willing, it is easier said than done. I could talk the talk now and walk the walk now. But later on, we will see. We will see. Because what? If your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, listen man, you're of the elect. Okay? I pray, right? And I remember, a lot, we, we, we're going to mess up. We're going to fall down. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We have to just keep on begging our Heavenly Father, forgive me, have mercy. Have mercy. That's what it's all about. Lord willing, right? We have to go through that fiery trial. We go, Brothers are going through shit right now. Brothers are going through hell right now. Every single brother is going through hell right at this moment. But that's a part of the walk. That's a part of the talk. That is a part of how we have to go through the fiery trial. And Meshach, I mean, Shadrach, Meshach and Benedict, they went through it. And what? They were victorious. They were victorious. They, 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 they won. They won the case. Lord willing. Right? You see, somebody's banging right now at this time of the night. Somebody's banging and banging and banging and banging. Right? I don't know who's banging now. It's all spiritual. All the praises is given to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakwadash. And we give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Hey, listen. You be grateful that you're listening to the right teachers. Going to other, jumping around, right? It's called church hopping. I used to do it one time, right? Before, no, no, no. I'm talking about coming before coming to this truth. I used to church hop. I used to church hop because I'm seeking, seeking. And I didn't get anywhere. I was just confused. Confused. So we need church hop. When you're going from different camp to different camp, listen, it's all going to bring this confusion. But at Great Millstone, you're going to call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. You're going to know all the true doctrine to follow. Praise be to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. The Wada. Pray for brothers that are going through hell at the moment. It's the part of the walk. Pray for brothers. Pray for brothers. That is trying to do the work in sincerity. Pray for brothers. Brothers are sick and brothers still doing the work. Brothers are going through hell. Brothers still going up the highways and the byways, doing their videos and still pushing to what? Because the Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. If you love me. And I tell you what, we love Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Yeah? We fall short. We do wrong things. Yeah? But we love Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Because he's the real judge. He is the real judge. <sighs> Praise be to Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Love our apostles. Love all the elder bishops. And come down the order. Love all the brothers you labor with. Love them. Look after them. Nurture them. Because this is a precious thing that we deal with. It is precious through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, our man. So be true. Shalom. Hope and pray that it's edifying. Shalom.